What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So your boy Anthony the booty buster Joshua has responded to and or reacted to Tyson Fury refusing to sign the contract. Now it's interesting because AJ said about a few days ago when Fish Eyes Warren came out and said we ain't going to sign the contract because we ain't had this guarantee, we ain't had that guarantee. AJ responded and said, quotation marks, Spartan, I'm tired, my fans are tired, your fans are tired. We're all tired of the talk, less talk, more action. Now, what we do know is, less talk, more action. So on that basis, AJ took it upon himself to take an action of making t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, is that, is that even an official, what's it called? Under Armour t-shirt, him before. Under Armour are now trolling Tyson Fury. Billion dollar company trolls Tyson Fury. That should be the title of this one. Let's talk more action. Sponsored by Under Armour. Now Fury, he's going to be mad right now. Because he's going to be mad for two reasons. Number one, he's getting punked by AJ. And number two, he's getting punked by a sponsor. Something which he's never had. Not being horrible, I'm just calling a spade a spade. I'm just calling it a spade a spade. It had no sponsors. Oh well, he's too real. Nothing to do with being too real. He's not marketable, that's why. Yeah? He's not marketable. The only, the only, I'm not being funny here, but the only Dons here who aspire to be like Fury are Dons on the couch who are already two, three hundred pound. That's the truth of it. You man can be, ah, oh, but ain't no man looking at there and thinking, you know what, I want to be like him. And that's just the way it is. Even if you look at his other characteristics, we've explained over the last, especially after the last week, we've explained over the last week that he left his best mate. Fair enough. Okay, YB. He's not aesthetically pleasing. But even look at his being. Yeah? His wife's at home pregnant with six kids. He's away. Partying it up and having random women. You know what I'm saying? Random women massaging him down. Now again, I'm sure there's a whole bag of 300 pound couch dons who are like, Oh, oh well, no, no. Trying to justify it. But in the day, Paris been mugged. Billy Ho, his number one best friend, being mugged. Hanging out with all of his new fake friends. Yeah? So even on that level, I'm trying to think, what level is there that Fury is really certified on? Because, another thing, two years ago, Oh well, I'm giving my money to charity, all of it, oh, the whole purse. And everyone came out, good morning Britain, Piers Morgan, everyone sucked him off. It came to giving the money. One brave reporter, who's now gone missing. <laughs> Listen, the man who asked him this question, where is he at? Don't know one, no, he's gone. He missing. Can I have, trap a hand sorted that one out? The first, listen, what we do know is, there was one journalist who asked Fury, Fury, before the Wilder fight, you said you were giving your whole purse to charity. What's the update on that? Fury said, oh, it's my money. Don't tell me what I do with my money. All this kind of business. Oh, giving it all that business. That man, that reporter now, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? You best believe. He, he, you best believe that reporter chilling with Mark Tibbs. He's been Mark Tibbs right now. He's missing. He's silent. No doubt. So anyway, I give you all that to say, listen. Fury don't have no... Aesthetic qualities. He doesn't have no aesthetic qualities. He don't have no personality qualities. Oh, The Undertaker. Oh, The Undertaker. Well, that's listen. Fury, Fury being put down... For the first time in boxing history, being put down was turned into a positive. Only for Fury could that happen. For anyone else, Joshua, you're chinless. And that, isn't it? think about it for a second. Fury has his eyes rolled in his head against against a man who's not a quantified puncher. We don't know how hard we don't know how hard Wilder can punch. We just don't know. I'm afraid to break it to you. I mean, we do we do not know. He's not been in there with someone who's got a qualified chin. He hasn't. So to sit there and rant and rave about him, we just don't know. He's a 200 pound soaking wet man as well. Fury gets laid out, his eyes are sparkled in his head. Like a bingo machine, or like a, what do they call it, a slot machine, spinning around. He gets up, at the very last nick of time, and he's called, what do they call him? Oh, the Undertaker, that's it. Oh, <laughs> Undertaker. AJ goes in there, with a quantified puncher, Vlad. Gets hit with a solid right hand. There ain't no eyes spinning. His head don't, his head don't lick off the canvas. He sits there and gets up. That to me, I don't care what no one says. Oh, you're being biased. No, it's the facts. The facts are, that to me is more Undertaker than being not, nearly, nearly knocked spark out by a 200 pound man. Yeah? But anyway, listen. The point is, there's a reason 
Oh, well, AJ's a corporate man. Whatever way you want to cut it. And what makes me laugh, yeah, for years, Fury criticised... Oh, AJ's a corporate man. AJ's a corporate man. Fury now has a few sponsors. A few dead sponsors. that Ain't no one heard of them before. But the, the point is, for years, Fury tried to make out he didn't want them. Oh, I don't... Oh, you know what I mean? Giving it all that. In reality, he was desperate for them, but no one didn't want them. You understand? It's a the difference there. It's a the difference between being... Many people said, Oh, well, Fu Fury just don't care about that kind of stuff. Yeah, Fury, sti Fury says... Fury sticks it to the to the, to the advertisers. Uh, no, he didn't. He was desperate for them. As you're seeing now. His best mate got murked, Billy Joe. And the next day, he's tagging his name and tagging his sponsor, trying to get all the clout he can. Yeah, hanging out with his new fake mates, tagging some more and whatnot. So, the point is... On a number of levels... AJ, this right here, whilst it's likely in response to, whilst he's printing these t-shirts with his billion dollar advertisement sponsors under armour, let's talk more action. Which in itself is an action. In reality, this really, it's more, what's the word? It's more relevant than one could imagine. Many people only apply it to, ah, oh, yeah, Fury not signing the contract. But in reality, it can be applied to Fury's life in general. Fury. Don't tag, don't at your wife, and then have next woman putting sun cream lotion all over your body. How about, don't do, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure Paris would have preferred not to have an Instagram tag, and instead, you would turn down some next random, of age, spicy female. Let's get something straight here. If it was some old lady, yeah, everyone knows. If it was an old lady, no one would care. But that was a spicy thing. So I'm sure your pregnant wife would have preferred you to say, no, I'm not going to do that. Then get a, get a stingy Instagram message afterwards, professing your love. If you love someone that much, you'd think, you know what, my wife's pregnant, there's obviously going to be paps around, let me just hold this one down. Let, in fact, let me rub my own sun cream lotion on my leg, or better yet, get Tommy to do it. How about that? Let me get Tommy to do it, yeah? Moving on, Billy Ho, your best friend, allegedly. You left him in the lurch, posted, bash, bash, bash from pillar to post. Ducked out of there at quick time. Flew to Miami to turn it up with your, new, with your new fake mates. Another action. Should have held it down with your main mans. Because let's not forget, Fury was there. <laughs> you best believe Fury was there. He was in the cut. All in the cut. For, for, for a week before the Billy Ho fight happened. And minutes after, he was gone. So again, no good tagging Billy Ho on your Twitter. Oh, we're best friends and we're warriors and no good doing that. Actions speak louder than words. And now... That, that really is more of a, on a spiritual thing. Let's get to the reality of what we're talking about here. Let's talk more action. Just get in. You're meant to be the big warrior. You're meant to be the undertaker. The undertaker's backside didn't fall out. Oh, another thing. Just quickly before we go on. Another thing. Billy Ho's dad. Getting moshy bashed. By security. And you froze. Yeah? You froze. Let's talk more action. Don't be talking about how you're 400 year a bare knuckle thing and there's never there's never a man who'll do this thing. That, that security guard was moshing all over your 400 year of legacy. legacy. Yeah? You say that, oh, we're family and family look after family. No, listen. Tom, Tom, Tom Saunders was begging to be looked after when he was getting moshy bashed. No doubt. He was in a mosh. I don't care what no one says. Yeah, yes, sometimes when you're young and whatnot and you like a certain scene, you like to mosh, but... Tom Saunders at 65 year old, his son's just been filled in. The last thing he wanted to be doing is moshy bashing. He got moshy bashed nonetheless, because you, you froze. Yeah? So again, let's talk more action. And things ain't, things ain't really going well for Fury right now. Things are not going well for Fury right now. He sees the, the writings on the wall, and you notice John Fury's kind of turned around. John Fury now is saying, oh, you know, AJ's a good lad, and he... Listen, I feel bad for I feel I feel bad for John. I can't tell, I can't lie to you, man. I feel bad. I feel bad for John. John is feeling it now. John is feeling the pressure of he's feeling the pressure of the genetic lineage he's passing on to his son. He knows. You know what I'm saying? He knows now. He's thinking to himself, "Oops, the whole charade. That whole charade that I've never been beaten before." John Fury was banging on about how he's never been beat before. It's now come out. His career ended in devastating fashion. His career ended with his toes curled. And his neck stiff, no doubt. Yeah, he was stiff as a board. He was so stiff he couldn't get up. Yeah, all them little small and intricate muscles you need to be able to coordinate your body was so rock hard he couldn't move. He was just a flat plank, and his toes were literally 
gurning on the floor. So anyway, the reason I tell you that is to say that it's all coming around circle now. It's all coming around circle. And I just hope that some way, somehow, Fury is able to sign this fight. It's not looking good from what I'm hearing. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of goofy dons who say, listen, do you think AJ, if, if this fight was done, yeah, do you think AJ would be printing t-shirts off? I don't think so. Me personally, anyway. AJ, this, this is right here is desperation. AJ is printing t-shirts off. This fight here is a campaign to taunt Fury into signing, because he don't want no more. We heard Fish Eyes Warren double down. We ain't signing nothing until Fury's happy. Now, now, if you notice how the goalposts have changed, before it was, we're not signing nothing until the money's there. Now it's, we're not signing nothing until Fury's happy. So which is it then? Is, it, is, is the money there, and, you know, is the money there or is it not? And that's the problem, you see. These, these cats were never serious. It was always, they always had something to say. Yeah? But more talk, less action. And I wish you'd have put, you should have put Stuck Fury's face on there as well whilst we're at it. But then again, that would have been giving him too much promo. Yeah? Too much promo. No doubt.